Ethan, how'd you get into the sport of swimming? I always did swim lessons and when I was like six, seven, and then Beijing Olympics 2008 rolled around. And then I think I watched that with my brothers and stuff. What is your favorite stroke to do? Um, I'm a butterfly. I always thought it looked really cool. That's kind of why I started swimming it. I like, like to do it more in practice and stuff. You're competing at the US Olympic trials. How exciting is this for you? Yeah, it's huge. It was a goal of mine for a long time. I mean, it's the biggest meet that I'll ever go to probably. Do you have any swimming superstitions? If I have a bad race from like a song or, or a song I listened to before the race, I like never listen to that song again. What song are you thinking of listening to before racing out there? <laughs> I listen to like some j like crazy, like Japanese, like screamo stuff. <laughs> um, so that's a little weird. I don't really talk about that much. You come from a Navy family. Your dad attended the Naval Academy. What's it like to follow in his footsteps? And my dad is class of 82. And then two of my brothers are in the Navy right now, they're pilots. And then my younger brother is in ROTC. I mean, it's part of me, it's part of like our whole family, um, affected our lives. Swimmers eat a crazy amount of calories. What's your go-to post-practice meal? Probably like, uh, like Marie Callender's little chicken pot pies, uh, like frozen in the fridge. You can do those, put, put, put them in like five minutes and then just pound it away. How many of those could you eat in one sitting? Probably three, but I might puke, I don't know. If any actor could play you in a movie, who'd you pick? You know, just go for like a Chris Hemsworth, I think that, <laughs> yeah. I see the resemblance. Six three, six four, two hundred twenty 20 pounds of muscle, yeah, that's me. Hey Ethan, thanks so much for joining me. This was the Student Athlete Spotlight.